Hello and welcome to 45 Watt World where we're interested in showing you the gear that is overpowered for Keith's channel 5 Watt World. This is the latest instalment in videos that I've made for absolutely one person's enjoyment. So the script editor whose name I'm not, I think I'm not allowed to say at 5 Watt World asked me to do a video about the Electrodyne showing some of the tones and stuff. So I thought I'd do my own short history. in 2009 and this was actually Mezaboogie's first six pop amp so in theory the simplest design they made since the original boogie in 1972 apparently so it's a three channel amp um, you've got a clean channel and then you've got two gain switching options uh, so a low and a high gain option and there's actually stacked controls behind here um, so it's technically three circuits but it's basically arranged so that it looks like a simple amp and in a lot of ways it is a simple amp. It's got a really nice reverb and a really nice kind of, for me, a kind of bright spanky fenderish tone. Uh, it can be incredibly loud at 45 watts is where I run it. It's got a 90 watt option but I've never really used that. I think that would be too loud. I did just create some Kemper profiles of the tones that you're going to hear in this video and that almost shook the house down and almost killed a dog. 
You can get those profiles in the description if you do want them, if you like the sound of any of this. So the amp can run on EL34s or 6L6s, it's switchable in the back for that. And you've also got a switchable impedance for using different speakers with it if you want to do that. The other interesting things on the back, you've got a clean trim and a gain trim, so two little trim pots which effectively make it easier to balance what's happening if you do end up using the clean channel and the gain channels together. You can sort of use those to balance the amount of gain on each, and so it's quite powerful in that way. And those, I think, are intended to be kind of set it and forget it type things. It takes pedals well. The speaker that I like best with the Electrodyne is the C90. Um, I did used to have it with uh, a Marshall cab with, I guess, some sort of greenbacks in it. And that, for me, was actually a bit too bright and a bit too brittle in the top end. But now that I've got a C90 in there, which is a, a bit of a darker speaker, it's just a beautiful clean tone. <laughs> I've run out of things to say about the amp now, so the rest of the video is going to be playing. I've had this for many, many years. I bought it when I was still young. I haven't gigged with it much, but when there are gigs again, I think it's definitely one I want to take out with this little cab and just get to grips with. All the tones that you hear in this video are just the Mesa Boogie, uh, no pedals in front of it or anything, just what it sounds like. I've got a Aston spirit in front of the Mesa Boogie widebody open back with a C90. You can get them for relatively cheap. I think they're a really good amp, a little bit of a, a hidden secret. I think they offer some of the really finest kind of clean tones in the Mesa Boogie range and it's, I'm looking at a dual rectifier Blue Angel and that's got six knobs on the front too. So that bit at the start was not true. Anyway, right, so super cool amp. I think it was discontinued in 2013 Somehow I don't think they were able to really get the message across to the people that might dig this amp. I think people that like a Lone Star would really get on with an Electrodyne really well. People that like a California Tweed I think would get on with an Electrodyne really well. A very kind of cool clean sound I think and I love it. Thank you for stopping by. If you did get anything out of this video you could consider leaving a comment, uh, liking and subscribing that would help. And do let me know if you end up getting one of these. The person who this video is for whose name I must not utter. Thank you for stopping by again, and I'll catch you for another video soon. Cheers!